Hello everyone, this is Tormuse, and uh, I guess I've decided I haven't had enough of Subnautica, uh, even after those first two seasons. I'm just going to start right back into it again, start a new game, uh, playing hardcore again, because, yeah, the, all these other, these other options, they just, they just don't hold interest to in me. <laughs> hardcore just makes things more interesting, more tense, um, more exciting, I think. <clears throat> And there's a chance of real failure. Um, <clears throat> it makes it it makes it more satisfying if I succeed, you know, hypothetically. Um, yeah, very disappointing end to season two. Um, disappointing in a different way from season one. Season one was disappointing because it was like there was no way to predict that that was that was going to die from that. Uh, and season two is more like. These damn bugs, man. <laughs> it's just... Uh, yeah, just suddenly dropping right out of the world. Like, what the heck was that? <clears throat> oh, hey. Starting up already? This is cool. Hmm. Ow. <coughs> and that's how it all started. Start a business. Grab that tray signature. And put that fire out. Just notice there's no health or food or water meter yet. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so hopefully, um, I mean, you have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. I still like the, how the, the, the hesitation before it says alive. We're going to keep you mm, alive. <laughs> okay, let's grab all the things and let's just set out into the world. Let's just not waste any time. <laughs> yeah, this should... Um, put that away. Um... Yeah, they should, they should be able to pick things up fairly quickly. From, uh, like, want to? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Put that away. Uh, I do want to, you know, have some food to start. I have to be extra mindful of my. Uh, my oxygen meter at the start because um, <clears throat> uh, I do not have an oxygen tank. This is just me holding my breath. Let's grab some uh, sources of rubber. Grab some metal as well. Oh wow, I really don't have any oxygen uh, capacity at the start here. I think my inventory is full now, right? I don't know, I can, I can hold some more metal. I don't see any bladder fish. Those are st uh, still important at this point. Here you go, there's one. Where are you going? Mine. 
life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing resources is approved survival strategy. Alright, let's make up some rubber. Yeah, so you know, like as an example, like like the um, um what, what I was saying in the previous season, the um so it's probably plenty of rubber to get on with right at the moment. I picked up more of those than I should have, all things considered. It, it uses up five power each time uh and internal Yeah, it uses up five power every time I use those. I wonder what happens if you run out. Look at all this junk here. It's right under... Whoa, what? The heck? This is different. This is all very different. Like, there's a funeral right next to my starting location? What the heck? And there's, there's a wreck here, which is like... What's all this? What's all this? Huh. This is all very interesting and different and stuff. Well, um... Okay, I'm gonna want to get that s the scanner as soon as I can, I think. Because it looks like there's some things to scan there. Um... Oh, right. Before I do that, though, um... There should be an uh, option of making, um... Uh, flippers from from the rubber, right? Yeah, we can oxygen tank and flippers like those are those are pretty obvious things. Battery case holder. Battery. So I need. Um, uh, I need copper. That is so strange. So there's there is some degree of randomization in this, like um, like the record of the aurora. Oh, I'm behind the record of the aurora now. That's why it's different. In the previous game, I was uh, like more to the left. Of the Aurora. Okay, grab a bit of salvage, but no, I, I want to focus on. Um, uh, I need to find limestone outcroppings so we can get some copper. And we got some quartz while I'm at it. Grab the carry fish. New. Oh. Copper. Here's some copper. Okay. So yeah, it's a repair tool. I'm gonna want that. In the beginning there isn't much to do with sulfur except uh, repair your uh Repair your um, radio and uh, hey, more copper. Um, I'm gonna need a couple of these. Maybe, maybe more. More than a couple. Um, what am I trying to say here? Um, yeah, all I can do with it is repair the radio and the secondary systems of, of the pod, but uh, later on it'll become super important. Alright, let's... Let's see if I can find... I, where did that, that crash fish come from? I'm gonna grab the sulfur from its pod. 
while also being wary of more crash fish. There, there's the only piece of sulfur that I'm going to need. Silver-based work huh. it's an essential component of many habitat modules. Silver-based work it's an essential component of many habitat modules. Uh, which, which way is the way out again? Oh crap, am I getting, am I getting lost already? I don't have a flashlight, I can't bloody see anything. Well, this isn't good. And so Twermy is, this is the game right at the start. It's night time, so there's no light source to guide me. <sighs> I was panicking for a second there. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um... Local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet four. So I've got gl uh, quartz could be used for glass, which I can turn it into um, flashlight, uh, copper, and acid mushrooms could be turned into batteries. This should be able to get a scanner as well, I think. Battery. And I need that. Yeah, I see. When I made the the battery, it, it generated the blueprint for the power cell. Like, I should be going through everything and trying to make one of everything, you know, on the off chance that um, there's some. Uh, You know, there's some new uh, construction options that we get generated from that. Silver. Oh, if I get one more piece of glass, I can make the uh, upgrade oxygen tank now. Although, I know I don't, I don't have enough glass for it anyway. Uh, and I'd rather, I think I'd rather make the uh, uh, flashlight first, regardless, because um, I don't want to get lost in, in that. Uh, in that, well, I didn't want to get lost anywhere really. Uh, scanner. Repair tool needs rubber. Let's make the scanner first. Okay, let's repair stuff now. Yeah, like I said before in the previous thing, nine 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 hours uh, implies eleven years, if that's accurate. <laughs> You know, 99,999 uh, hours. I wonder. If I do a self scan. Self scan complete. Vital hmm. signs normal. Continuing to monitor. So I think I saw scannable items here. Possible to go inside this thing? Can I uh, like? <laughs> Look at this opening animation. Like he shines it right in his face. Hey, it's openable. Ooh. Oh. Look at all this. Oh, keep an eye on oxygen. Has to. Uh... Oh, I don't have. <laughs> I reflectively switched to uh, number three because that's where I usually put the the sea glide, but I don't have a sea glide. It just so I just pull up the carry fish. <laughs> anyway, um, oh yeah, that's scannable too. Because at this point, everything is going to be scannable because I've, I've, I haven't discovered anything before. So there's a PDA here. Did I find this in the previous game? Integrate new Cassie data. Crew manifest Paul Tregal. 
So this isn't this isn't part of the the uh, Aurora. This is part. Of, this is part of uh, the Degassi uh, thing crashed here. Is that repairable? It is. Huh. Like again, was this here all along? Did they just not explore this area? Huh. Well, I guess there's something to be said for uh, just ra mindless random exploring and not going where the game directs you to. Somebody was telling me that... Uh, somebody was telling me that <laughs> recently. I, my, my oxygen level is so low that, like, I want to be cautious. I mean, hell, like, like in um, previous game, I got to a point where I was like, oh, if my oxygen level is below 100, uh, it's time to go back. <laughs> now it's constantly below 100, so. Hey, see light fragment. It's just saying. That would be nice to have. Is that it? Is that all that's in here? Sure looks like it. Yep, looks like I have cleaned this out. There was a chair and that was all that was all that was here to look at. Okay. Ooh, Skyray. Isn't the presence of Skyray supposed to indicate that um, like be an indication that there, there's land nearby? Hmm. I wonder. Oh, it's, it's the hatch, I guess. Yeah. I thought I saw another scannable thing here. Hmm, <laughs> maybe I was wrong. Wait. That's what I saw. There you go. The beacons are handy. Ooh, little fireball flying out of nowhere. Okay, how's, how full's my inventory? Okay, right, so. I did say, um, I wanna, okay, I wanna focus on priorities and, um, Let's not get, uh... <laughs> but I still want to scan everything. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, <laughs> hold still, there you go. Yeah, I do want to scan everything, but like, um, also, um, Out of the way, Rabbit Ray. Where'd you go? You're right in front of me. Um, sorry, what am I trying to say here? I, I, want, I, want, I do want to try to uh, breeze through the opening stuff like relatively quickly. Um, you know, take advantage of my my knowledge of uh, what to prioritize first, left for, left over from the previous run throughs. Um, So, oh, this might hurt. No, oh, no, I'm fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna want to get that sea glide uh, as soon as I can. So I'm gonna want to try to find some more wrecks, I guess, to to explore, find some more, uh, some more. Um, 
There you go. Even basic things like limestone chunks need to scan. Um, oh, can I scan the gasopod? Can you scan acid mushrooms themselves? Oh, you have to scan absolutely everything. Um, I can remember, like, in the beginning, like, even the gasopods, I was, like, nervous about approaching. But, you know, they're harmless. I mean, the the gas that they shoot at will hurt you, but you just, it's pretty easy to avoid. Um, yeah, okay. So, if I get a bit of glass, I should be able to, um... Uh, upgrade my oxygen tank, so I should focus on that. Oh, there's, I think that's, I believe that's the last, no, no, I, I need, I need two of them, and I, hold on, how much quartz have I got in my inventory? Yeah, so I, I need one more piece of quartz, right? At some point I'll scan the crash fish. Is that an egg? Is that a scannable thing? Maybe I should have scanned the egg first before picking it up. Whoops. Ah. Moments like this remind me of uh, why I like the, having the scanner room around. Can uh... can just go go around scanning everything. Hold on, refresh that oxygen. Let's see if we can get that uh, quartz they saw in there. Not to mention the sandstone. Sandstone, source of uh, silver for wiring kits. It's also a source of lead for the radiation suit, which. Oh, yeah, I haven't scanned these things yet. Oh, and I've got a radio broadcast already. And I'll grab the sulfur. Who knows? Maybe I'll. Uh, maybe I'll feel like. Um, making flares. I never used flares in the previous game, like, at all. Ah, oh. Darn. Anyway, I don't think my inventory is full yet, but let's, uh, let's check out what that radio broadcast is about. Uploaded to PDA. Booyah. And there it is. There's the oxygen tank that I'm gonna have for like all of the early game. It's possible to calculate the species of the egg from the exterior, however, it may be possible to stimulate the hatching response if an egg is relocated in a suitable alien container unit. That is something I never did in the previous game. Wonder what what prompts the the uh, may, like maybe there's something I was supposed to build that um, they got that um, what have we here okay this is I never found this in my previous game like I re I really actually never found this this is interesting um, so he's the <laughs> Paul Torgal 
is the chief of Torgal Core. Like he's he was an important person uh, back on Earth, basically. Um, Captain of the Degasi. Uh, yeah, he's a majority shareholder by his mother upon her retirement. Um, so he inherited the company. He didn't like build it to the ground up or anything. But it's probably given him a sense of entitlement, which is consistent with what I've, you know we observed about him and all all the other uh, interactions. Um, but yeah, he's basically. Um, I mean, yeah, Emissary Kassar reports Turgal often traveled with the skeleton crew, but was known for making rash but profitable decisions. So it, it was him coming out here by 45, 46B was like just one of those rash decisions. He decided he's just going to set it on his own with his son and some random mercenary that they, they went up, they, uh, they were traveling with. And I guess I guess Emissary Kassar was, must have been a close personal friend of his or something. Um... So, is, was Paul Spagal like like really like a religious person? Hmm. But uh, yeah, it is hoped that Aurora appears scanning so he can do better. Um, does that mean the Aurora was specifically sent to look for Paul Tergal? Like, was was that was that our mission from the beginning? I, funnily enough, that information never really uh, came up anywhere. <laughs> Okay, well, on that note, why don't I... Uh, it's kind of dark. Um, so, crew heard the sea glide damage. Um, why don't I take a peek over there? I'll, um... Yeah. I, I took... I just, um... I skimmed the, um... Yeah, mine. Um... Skimmed the, the the data banks, see if there's anything uh, of interest that uh, you know, like kind of like one of those things that uh, you know you're just so used to. Um... Can I pick it up? Yeah, that's strange. Why is it being specific about the angle they need to pick it up? Um... How odd. Anyway. Um... Yeah, looking to see if there there was anything uh, of interest. One thing that stood out was um, the bladder fish can apparently uh, be used as an oxygen source, uh, like if you eat it. Um, oh, something. Oh, right. The vines themselves and the, uh, the sea clusters themselves, I think. Probably the stalker fish, which are going to be around here somewhere. Haven't seen any so far. Usually they hang around. There's one. Now there's an infected one, interestingly. So I have extra interest in uh, scanning it. Don't like the fact that there's so many of them around. <laughs> but again, you know, like these these stalkers aren't even really that like if if they bite me, they're gonna take like what ten percent damage. They're gonna do ten percent damage to me. I can drive them away by uh, whacking them with my knife if I need if need be. But I'm faster than them anyway, so it's not a big concern. Like this is something I would not have done in, at the beginning of my other hardcore game, where I was being extra extra cautious. Uh, where's the infected one, though? Like it, uh, I expect that there will be more to, for my scanner to say about it. That's salt. Is the infected one around here somewhere? There he is. Can I scan it? Because I bet it has, has more... Hey, jerk. 
Yeah, it, the, the, the infected signs flash on the screen for a second there. Bladderfish. Trying to grab all the bladderfish because, like, uh, until I get that um, filtration system, the the uh, water is a bit of a limiting regent. How's my inventory looking? <laughs> so yeah, so that should have given me the uh, specimen's infection. Yep. No, under any circumstances, consume the flash. Well, I wasn't planning to eat the uh, eat the stalkers anyway. That's another egg. Um, I'm gonna save inventory space for new eggs I haven't seen before. I'm still gonna grab this stuff. Is that was that a whole fish that I just saw? I don't think I've scanned it yet. Will it hold still? Of course not. Thank you. Yoink. More quartz. Don't have a huge need for quartz uh, at present. This game kind of conditions you to only grab what you need in the moment because, um, uh, or at least at the beginning, because because uh, inventory space is is kind of um, kind of at a premium at the beginning. Um, I'm not a huge, and I'm not a huge fan of the the floating lockers. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, switched away from those, uh, as soon as I could in my previous game. Anyway, this, uh, I think I should be able to get the, the sea glide, uh, blueprint from this, from this, uh, wreck over here. At least so I hope. And I'll be able to get around a lot more easily. Not just not just get around a lot more easily, but safely. Like it's uh Yeah. It, it just uh it, it's Okay, what have we got here? Mobile vehicle fragment. Hey, that's a step of the way towards getting a seamoth or prawn. That'll come in handy eventually. How's my inventory looking? I've got plenty of space. Let's grab some salt. It's also a source of water, which, uh, ironically enough, a source of fresh water. Like I'm surrounded by salt water, and like, oh hey, let's get some salt so I can get some fresh water. Well, I mean, the salt is so that I can make bleach, so that. Uh, can uh, disinfect the water, but you know. Watch out for those. Uh, okay. Oh well, yeah, this is where. Um, I guess I'll grab that salt too. Until I get the. Get that salt too. Like once you get the water filter and you get you get an infinite source of salt, but until then it's like, well, salt is pretty useful. Like you can use it to get the disinfected water, and also, see like okay, that's that's it. There it is. What am I trying to say here? Um, sorry, I got distracted. I forgot what I was saying. Okay, so and PDA, and this is this is a compass one. Yeah. Warning: Local radiation readings 
suggests the Aurora's drag core has reached critical state. Fighting detonation will occur within two hours. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got what I came here for. Um, guess I'll grab the metal. If nothing else, I can use the metal to make. Uh, I just noticed that there's a bladder fish in my in slot number three. Hello. <laughs> uh, oh, I haven't scanned the hoverfish yet. Yeah, yeah, I know. Probably should have saved that inventory space for the trip home. Yeah, so anyway, what I was trying to say, yeah, uh, or one of the things I was trying to say, because I, you know, my little ADD brain keeps getting distracted, um, was that there's um, the, uh, the salt uh, has benefit for uh, being, you know, turn to water and also for uh, for the preservation of food which oh, anything here I think I always scan that one uh, also for the preservation of food for uh, for longer journeys so yeah so at, at the moment I'm in sort of in a state I can't get too much of it well I mean I suppose I can get too much of it but the amount of required for too much is pretty high. Oh. Well, I already have that, so that's just going to turn to titanium, right? What have we here? Another sea glide fragment. It's just going to turn to titanium, I guess. It didn't, I don't see it. It didn't turn into the titanium bits. I wonder if it's doing the same thing that the the, the time capsules do, and and like um, <laughs> the time capsules do, and like if your inventory is full, it, it uh, there's a delay before it. Um, uh, 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 before it tries to put it in your inventory, then as soon as you uh, have an inventory space free, then it just magically materializes. But I don't know why that would be, it would do that now when it didn't do that before. Like, I don't know why it would be doing it different, doing something different this time. Ah, fabricator unpowered. Yeah, yeah just as I thought, if you if you overuse it, then you have to wait for the power to come back up again. And it's being powered by solar power, I guess. Yeah, solar cells. Ah, huh, nifty. Okay. Well, curiosity satisfied about that particular aspect of the game. Okay, so got myself a sea glide. Yay! Um, so I guess I want, oh, radio broadcast. This is good. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded for PDA. All right, got ourselves another mission. Um, let's try to case system and under attack. <laughs> Here we go, off in the sea glide. I mean, sort of. Oh, hey, the, like. As I just kind of sort of established that it's uh, probably beneficial for me to explore my immediate surroundings, but uh, all things being equal, um, probably just as well that I, I uh, check out um, 
Ah, no, go back. Where'd you go? Um, yeah, all things being equal, probably just as well that um, I, I uh, seek out these leads first and then uh, follow up on uh, yeah and, and, and then um, fall back on random exploration oh is that time already the reactor will reach a supercritical state in two minutes. Terrible range, expands to Priority PDA. Yeah, so much for the Aurora. <laughs> that needs two lead, right? I've got one. Also needs two fiber mesh. Okay. Um, curious, curiously, that the quantum detonation happened during the night, when in the previous games, uh, I believe it happened during the day. Wonder why the difference. Oh, spade fish. New fish. New fish acquired. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well maybe I'll scan that one instead. Ugh, maybe I'll scan the fighter. Scan wanna scan something. <laughs> Science. Okay, stop zipping around. Just pick a direction and go in that direction. <sighs> now I need to grab you so I get the new life form found message. Thank you. New creature discovered, whatever. Let's scan the drooping stinger. And then, um. Well, there's the pot already. What are you coming away from me for? Bayer has no respect for science. <laughs> um, yeah, like um, usually they they they're always like rushing towards me. So like it's weird that it's rushing away from me like that. See my favorite. Yeah, he did. He did the, the 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 guy Ozzy who just said that or distress call said that he was nearly crushed by the sea moth bay. So I guess that's what that um, big hunk of uh, wreck nearby is. Okay, sandstone. That's a source of lead. I'm gonna want that soon. Silver. Silver's nice too. I mean, I'm gonna want that for uh, advanced wire guess There you go. Now I can make the radiation shielding suit, which will enable me to come close to the aurora, and then I can uh, check out stuff over there. Hello, little sand shark. How would you like to participate in a scientific? Ah, what are you doing? Okay, maybe I'll, maybe the biter will want to participate in a scientific um, research thing. Ugh, maybe I'll return to the surface first. All right. Let's go. Hey, look. There's a new thing to scan. New 
Oh, hey. So nobody's distracted. Ah, distracted by. I like, I'll take advantage of it. Whoa. These things love to flail around. Dan Sanchez, so unpredictable. Ah. Mm, crap, that's limestone while I'm here. There. Um, anyway. Hey, I guess that's the Sea Buff Bay. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the chasing the biters to scan them. Hey. Laser cutter fragment. You know, I've never actually built a laser cutter in both of my previous games. Um, I, um, hey, scanner room fragment. That'd be really nice. Battery charger. Also, also very nice. Okay, let's get an oxygen refresh and let's continue exploring this because this is there will be lots of valuable stuff here. Yeah, I'm sure the the biter will come back to bug me sooner or later, and I'll scan him then. <laughs> In the meantime, let's just keep moving, keep keep finding stuff, keep discovering stuff. Yeah, both my previous games, I the uh, my um, yeah the laser cutter I acquired from uh, uh, from time capsules. In fact, my, the last game there I even found two of those in time capsules in one game. Um, yeah, maybe this time I'll actually be able to actually build one. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, this is the this is where um, uh, I'm, I'm, I remember this is one where it's easy to get lost <laughs> and I'm probably going to want uh, the Pathfinder tool before I explore this. Yeah, I might make an, uh, an extra trip here. I'm below 100 meters, and I don't have, and I don't have a rebreather, so <clears throat> I have to be mindful of oxygen levels. <clears throat> in, the, in the previous, uh, the previous run, the first season, actually, there was one point where I was down to two oxygen down here, and somehow made it back to the surface, which. Which tells you um, how long you have. You, you do still have uh, a fair bit of time after reaching zero oxygen before you actually die from it. Um, yeah, the game is bioreactor fragment, huh? Anyway, uh, yeah, the game is actually pretty forgiving in terms of. Uh, Wait, okay. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I'm gonna scan you. I'm gonna scan you. Oh, suddenly you don't want to bite me anymore. Oh, hey. <laughs> Got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Maybe literally. Reginald, there you go. Reginalds are good. They're good eating. Yeah, I so I took a bit of damage from the biter. It's like a little less than twenty percent. In other circumstances, I might want to go. Ah, better heal that just in case. But like, I'm not expecting there to be any significant danger here. So.
So I'm content to let the let my health tick up slowly over time. That's uh, that's a, one of the big eggs, right? It takes up four inventory slots. Yeah. I wonder what laid that egg. Maybe in this game at some point I'll find out. What's that? Oh, it's quartz. I'll take it. So another seamoth fragment looks like. I don't believe I can uh, do anything with that until I have the mobile vehicle bay, but... I'll put to use at some point. I mean, the, the, the titanium, like, if nothing else, I can use the titanium to build more floating lockers. So it's. Oh? Oh, I just need one more of those. I can uh, build the scanner. Oh, wait. Do, do I need the. Do I, or do I need a. Do I need the blue. To, get, to acquire the blueprint for the habitat builder? I'm actually not sure about that. Do I have the blueprint for that? Uh, is that something you start off with? Okay, I guess you do. Okay. But you don't start off with the blueprint for, like, the, uh, yeah, you just have, I can build walls and hatches, but not rooms, <laughs> which, funnily enough. I need, um, need to find another piece of a scanner room and then I'll be able to get started building my actual habitat. You know, or, or a multi-purpose room, you know, like either one of those things. A scanner room would be a little nicer, I think. Because it can do, scanner room can do all the same things that the multi-purpose room can do, more or less. Um, and it can scan things. <laughs> Those sh silly sharks making so much noise. Okay, is that everything? Is that everything on the ground here? That blue stuff isn't scannable? The red stuff isn't scannable? Okay. Yeah, I think that is all of the scannable fragments on the ground there. Just make one more pass just to be sure, and then I'll enter the structure itself. If I can remember where the entry point is. I believe the entry point is around here somewhere. That's it, isn't it? Okay. Oxygen fresh, and let's check it out. Let's drink some water while I'm up here, too. Gulp. Yeah, let's drink more water. <sighs> I am sure this is a mistake when I don't have the Pathfinder tool. But let's, let's go in at least a little ways. Something scannable already. Command share. Yeah, in previous run there was a battery charger uh, fragment there. Every everything's different. <laughs> can't count it anything to be in the same place. I mean, the basic structures are in the same place. Oh, hey, speaking of battery charger. There you go. Mobile vehicle they fragment? Hey, I can make a Seamoth. Did not think I was going to get that this early. Uh, so none of, this, none of these are openable, right? 
I know there's more there's more to that plate that uh, structure than that. How long has this recording been so far? Oh, it's only been an hour. So um, yeah, let's carry on for a while. I was worried about getting carried away and like, oh, this is gonna be like a few hours long and like overly long or something, but yeah, you know, this is fine. So yeah, I've got the the blueprints for the mobile the, the mobile vehicle bay and the seamoth. Hey. Okay, don't want to get so turned around and lost that I can't find my way out. Oh, hey, it's our uh, <laughs> local celebrity. Um, okay, call me paranoid. I'm gonna I'm gonna do an oxygen refresh before I go further. Cause I'm already halfway gone, and uh, I just want to. This is this is this is one part where it's easy to get confused because because um, everything is sideways, so things aren't necessarily in the orientation you expect them to be, and it just it just throws you off. And I just don't want that delay from uh, trying to figure out which direction I'm uh, going to like confuse me and throw me off and stuff. Oh, inventory's full already. Oh. What's that? I already have that. It'll just be extra titanium and my inventory is already full. So let's just leave that for the time being and then uh, don't come back unless I'm absolutely desperate for titanium, I guess. There you go, that worked out well, well I think. So now that my inventory is full, I can uh, head back and do stuff. Okay, back home again. Oh yeah, I can find out what this radio broadcast is about. This is Avery Quinn, trading ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Not on the vacuum. These all Terra ships. They run low on engine grease. They send an SOS. They offer help. They don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. You still need our assistance. Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn, Charter's going to have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long range stands pick up in the meantime. All right, okay. So let's. Uh, I'm going to want to um, get the. Uh, Radiation suit, which means gather some of this. Yeah, like even just acquiring the creep find sample, it's it created new construction options. So like I really should be collecting a bit of everything. Like I didn't collect a bit of everything in the previous uh, game because it's like. Yeah, uh, inventory is based on premium, but I should probably focus on doing that from now on. Radiation suit, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, what have we here? There's another, uh, another radio broadcast already? Aurora, this is Sunday. Yeah. We 
just picked up a massive debris field in your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunday now. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right? But so are all the others. And here we are, mobile vehicle bay. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. <laughs> another, another uh, signal already. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. Hmm. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regrouped one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. <laughs> Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. More and more leads. All right. Let's uh, set this thing up. Should, unless I miscalculated, should be able to build a Seamoth. Woo! Seamoth is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. <laughs> endorphin levels. Meaning that the exercise will make you happy. All right, let's check us out. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> nice. So now I have the scene off. Hey, I, I have means of uh, checking out Keen's broadcast location because that's that's some pretty deep stuff there, right? But I think before I do that, I'm gonna check out the area around the. Aurora, because there, sorry fishies, because there there should be some uh, uh, there should be some good salvage there, some some fragments of things that uh, I could really do with, and also um, for that matter, just general titanium salvage, because I used up all of the titanium that I'd. Uh, randomly gathered just from those those first couple uh, forays out um, like hey okay, there's looks like there might be something here there's little bits of metal maybe I'll grab that Reginald ah got disoriented and maybe I'll scan the little, little spiky boy Fires pretty quickly, doesn't it? Grab it. Yeah, Reginald's are pretty nice to have around. Oh, grab the quartz. Uh, I mean, a few extra pieces of quartz will go astray, but but yeah, primarily I'm interested in. Um, Oh hell, you know what? I'm interested in a bit of everything. Like, everything will be useful. I, I'm down to my last piece of copper. And um, I was going to build a pathfinding tool. I was like, oh crap, it needs copper wiring, which means I need an additional piece of copper. So, uh, yeah, everything will be useful. Gold will be useful in computer chips, which don't need so many of, like... Ooh, I'm hearing uh, I'm hearing Reaper Leviathan sounds in the distance. Speaking of Leviathans, <laughs> speaking of Leviathan, I haven't scanned you yet. Hello, little Reefback, the gentle giant of the game. I remember the first time going up to this, I was like, I was certain it was like. 
isn't gonna like suddenly lash out at me, is it? Like afraid to get close to it, especially when one time I as I got hurt by something on its back, and it was because there's um, one of those tiger plants there. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna collect a bit of everything, so why don't I start doing that? Pardon me, this won't hurt a bit. Just oh, sorry. I was supposed to be hitting the coral shell plate there. Uh, maybe I'll <laughs> maybe I'll save that for um, maybe I, I won't whack things unless they're not on the back of a, a reef back leviathan. I already scanned you. I already scanned you. But something scannable just flashed on the screen there. What was that? It's like, why is my oxygen level still at uh, full? And then I realize that right at the surface, uh, you're about to bump into my sea moth. I'm going to move the sea moth out of the way because I don't know what happens if you bump into it. <laughs> ah, it's fine. No, seriously though, I saw something scannable. Was it this? Like the little scanning symbol flashed on the screen for a second. Might have been the barnacle, yeah. No, it wasn't. The, okay, so it wasn't the barnacle, but and the, the barnacle is noticeable or notable anyway. Because where's the thing that came out of the barnacle? I don't think that was it. I mean, I'll take it because I need it for a battery at some point. I'm sure. Copper. Any more barnacles? Is that the only one? Okay. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe, how's my inventory looking? Uh, I said I won some titanium. Okay, which way? Oh yeah, I'm I'm right behind. The Aurora. This is, uh, this is where, um, this is where Reaper Leviathans, uh, spawn, isn't it? I want to be careful about this area. What is that? Of uh, old crates like this around here. Free battery, yay! Quartz, sure. That's a Cyclops fragment, isn't it? Oh, yeah. One ninth of the way to getting a Cyclops. <laughs> Another battery, excellent. I said I was here for uh, titanium, so I guess I'd better grab this. How's that inventory looking? There's more, plenty more space. here. I remember coming here uh, in the previous game and there were like 50 Cyclops engine fragments around here, like behind the ship. This is like the go-to place if you want uh, Cyclops engine fragments. You can easily get all three of them in, in a few seconds. It's just that... Uh, <laughs> It's just not a place 
you'd normally want to venture because of, you know, Reaper Leviathan attacks. Okay, I'll pick up that metal in a moment. I'm just, I don't want to find out if there are any more, uh... Any other things to grab? Any more of those, um... Uh, like things like this. Disinfected water. And what have we here? That's probably, I think it's a bioreactor fragment, if I'm not mistaken. Or it could be Cyclops Bridge fragment, you know. Either or. Man, I'm, I'm already a third of the way to uh, being able to uh, get the, the Cyclops. Uh, blueprint. Hello. Stay back, I've got a knife. Dude. Personal space. <laughs> huh. Aw. Oh, thought I'd make it step climb up this. There you go. Land ho! Anyway. Yeah. Grab the metal up here, why not? Okay, seriously? Like, you're not gonna you're not gonna cause me any significant harm, but still. damage to me. <laughs> I think it did more damage to him. Pyrrhic victory. More copper, excellent. I'll put that to use. Eh. Quartz is not my primary focus here. Is full? No, it isn't. <sighs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Probably. I was gonna say probably should grab a, a couple bladder fish, but on the other hand, you know, I'm at the point where I can, uh, I've got a, a sizable collection of salt. I, I can make the disinfected water. It's probably better as a primary source of water at this point. Uh, let's just focus on collecting, you know, Titanium and copper, and what have we here? Propulsion cannon fragment. That's uh, it's an infected guy, but I already scanned some of that infected guy, so it's not gonna, yeah. Yeah, the first infected one you see, it, it gives you um, an extra thing to scan, but uh, hey. I can get a propulsion cannon already. Although, in practice, I didn't really use it much until I got the upgrade to the repulsion cannon, so... I mean, I'll probably build it, but I'm, I'm probably not going to actually really use it for a while. Not until I'm ready to uh, explore the Aurora, for which I would need... <laughs> For, for which I would need um, the laser cutter, which I have one third of, 
but uh, but yeah. Um, why is there a stalker over here? I guess he's attracted by the metal. It's not his usual biome. Uh, okay, I see something that might be scannable here. Anything? Yeah, just another propulsion cannon. But wait, right, here's a thing. And I'm hearing distant Reaper Leviathans again. Okay, drink this water and grab this water. Okay, I think that's enough for now. I think I'm ready to head home. Let's go hop in the Seamoth and go. Oh, got pretty far away from it. How'd I get this far away from it? I was just randomly wandering here. <laughs> Gonna want that, um... Huh. Gonna want that battery recharger soon. Um, I'm all turned around. That's the ship. <laughs> right, my my new home is uh, is now um, is at the rear of the Aurora. I have to remember that. <laughs> the Stalker and the Sandshark are fighting. Wow. The AI is really neat sometimes. There's a wreck here. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back for that. Cause right now my inventory is full. So I'm gonna um, make a mental note. I'm just, I'm just gonna be specific about where I park the sea moth and then head in that direction. Yeah, it's on a line that that uh, lines up with that thing. Oh, can't quite <laughs> can't quite go in a straight line all the way there. That's fine. Yeah, here you go. There's the propulsion cannon. Um, again, it's probably I'm. It, just, it takes up a lot of inventory space, so I'm probably just going to put it aside for now. All right, ready to head back out again. Um, yeah, during that little break there, I, uh, uh, I I collected a few samples of the the, the, the local the local. Um, uh, plant life, you know, just uh, just for the heck of it, just for the just for the sake of you know, just in case it um, gives me any new I don't know new options or anything. Who knows? Maybe if I collect enough. Uh, uh, life samples that'll give me the option to uh, build the habitat for him. Trash can! Fluid analyzer not functional. I'm gonna pass on that one this time. Vending machine! That's handy as an emergency backup food source. More titanium. <laughs> Forklift. I feel like you should be able to. I don't know. Th I was gonna say, I feel like they should be able to uh, build the forklift or something. Maybe, maybe not. Like, that would be just an extra thing for them to program. It would be a lot more work than it's worth, probably. Hey, Beacon Fragment. Hey, that's the one, one of the things. Uh, I mean, well, I guess I've got it now. Um, 
but um, it's one of those things that it's, it's they're pretty useful to have. And uh, yeah, very nice. Um, let's see. Yep, that wasn't all of, uh, the wreck, wasn't there? Um, wasn't there more wreck along here somewhere? Somewhere this way? Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe that was the wreck that I saw. I felt like there was a bigger wreck along the way or something. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Like how close am I to the Aurora? Yeah, pretty close. Uh, anyway, um, I should probably uh, head on out on my next mission and, or whatever. <laughs> okay, I guess I guess it is all that I saw. Oh, hey. There's a thing I missed. Oh. Scan the crash fish. Hmm. You know, theoretically, um, <laughs> uh, being underwater should compress the uh, effect, the effect of the explosion, so it's, uh, it does more damage. But you know, maybe it's already doing that. Maybe the uh, crash fish is uh, crab trap. Never actually built one of those. Is that a salt person thing there? Yeah. I'm not going to bother picking it up because I don't have any use for it. I already got some. Is that say coffee vending machine? Didn't didn't give the the new blueprint uh, discovered message. There you go, coffee vending machine. Synthesize, synthesizes hydrating, caffeine-free coffee. I know somebody who would be pretty pleased about that. <laughs> I mean, you know, somebody in my audience. Um, Anyway, oh wait, there's still more. So I think I've got it all. What I was gonna say was uh, I'm gonna finish up here, and then I'm gonna head on back and uh, oh, because I grab that limestone, whatever's in there too, um, and head on a, head on a proper mission and. Uh, then I will wrap up this recording uh, for today. So, um, how full is my inventory? I'll just grab a bit of titanium and, uh, and a couple of these and then I'll go. Oh, hey, I said I was about to, I'll maybe grab the water, or source, instead. Um, got another radio broadcast. Maybe that'll give me another lead. Uh, yeah, I was thinking of heading out to uh, Keen's last broadcast location because. Um, there's um, there's some useful stuff there. Um, that was the first place that I found lithium in the previous game. It's where I found the purple gel and rubies, which I guess I don't actually have any use for yet, but soonish I will. Um, and um, but most importantly, there there are a bunch of wrecks around that area, which had. Uh, Things to scan. That, that was where I found my uh, first laser cutter, if I if I remember correctly. But first, let's see what this radio has to say. This is Sunbeam. Hmm. You know Aurora. We're from a little trans 
scum on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're it. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find him. Sun him out. All right. So I guess next I'm gonna head on over to Commander Keen's look at place. Um, this isn't ideal because I don't have. Um, what do you call it? I don't have. I don't have the. Um, no, what, what am I doing? I'm supposed to I'm supposed to here's smack the the limestone thing, but no, 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 just focus on the task at hand. Um, yeah, uh, I don't have a rebreather. Um, so I'm going to have some suboptimal um, What are you roaring about? Yeah, I'm going to have some suboptimal um, diving experience but I'll have the uh, well the sea moth close by as an oxygen source so I'm sure it'll be okay yeah it's specifically 300 meters down though eh. I don't know this this isn't gonna be the greatest I, uh, yeah, I, I was going to make the rebreather and I was like, oh crap, I need one more piece of silver for the, um, for the, for the, the, the wiring kit. And, uh, I, I, I used a wiring kit for propulsion can, which was probably a dumb thing to do, um, cause I don't really expect to use propulsion can for a while. But, uh, yeah, oh well. Um, lesson learned, I guess. Keep an eye out for sandstone. The sandstone oak carvings are a possible source of silver. In the meantime, let's check this out here. Yeah. Currently decreased oxygen efficiency. There's the thing that needs the uh, thermal plant. Uh, the thing that needs um, the laser cutter. Maybe I'll uh, get lucky and find, just randomly find one. Okay, don't lose sight of the CMOS. Moon pull fragment, okay. If I can get, you know, moon pool or scanning room or multi purpose room, whatever. Whichever one I get first, I'm going to build that and then uh, be able to. Um, what's this? Thermal plan, okay. Um, being able to build a room, any room will be nice because then I can just for the fact that then I can um, uh, what am I trying to say and I, I don't have to rely on those um, uh, uh, um, those under underwater floating lockers which are I mean I'm glad I can build them but they're not the most convenient to access oh, what have here We have more stuff here. I already scanned this, right? Can I scan again? No? Watch that oxygen meter.
having the headlights trained on it is, is handy. Is that a stack of three radios there? Or, I mean, I don't know. Never mind. That is a warper sound I just heard. It's like, I thought I imagined it the first time. Hey, speedy peeper. I don't recall encountering warpers in this region in my previous games. I mean, it's not completely unexpected when you consider... Oh, crap, where's the... Don't lose sight of the Seamoth, come on. Maybe I should make the Seamoth a, an eye-catching color, just so that, um, just so I can't lose sight of it. <clears throat> when everything is blue, like, it makes it easy to, to miss them. Why am I hearing warper sounds? It is a little concerning. Power cell charger fragment, okay. That's something I don't have. I mean, it's sort of irrelevant until I find an actual room. But yeah, I mean, technically, I guess encountering a warper isn't completely, completely unexpected when you consider that there's that, um, you know, that, that vent thing nearby. But, uh, yeah, didn't encounter it before, so. What have we here? This little blueprint thingy. Vehicle upgrade console, okay. If I get a moon pool, then, oh yeah. This is, this is, there we go. I can actually start building an actual habitat now. That's awesome. here where is that coming from okay just take a second to quick take stock of inventory uh, let's drink some water I don't have a thermal blade now so don't have a means of um, supplementing um, uh, uh, food while I'm out here and in, in the previous game, I did not get a uh, thermal blade blueprint for a long time. Uh, well, I, I mean, I got it at the same time as the, the modification station. That took a while. Yay, moon pool. So I'll, I'll be sure to build that when I get back. Maybe I'll build a bioreactor. I mean, I it's totally subsisted on... Um, uh, solar panels before, you know, totally renewable energy source, but uh, maybe I'll try out the bioreactor just, uh, just for something different and just on the on the off chance that maybe, maybe it'll give me some extra options. Yeah, without the rebreather, I, I can't, um, can't go terribly far with this, um, like this is gonna have to this is gonna have to be a series of really quick trips. That looks like lead there. Also keep it 
have to keep an eye out for uh, sandstone. That's limestone, right? Yeah, let's take a peek over here. I mean, I... No, I've got... I've, I'm getting plenty of... Getting plenty of um, titanium. I'm doing okay for copper at the moment. So let's grab a sample of this if I can. Yeah. Probably lots of things I can grab samples of which I just didn't bother trying before. Is all limestone? It's not the primary focus of this trip here, so let's you know let's stay focused here. Welcome aboard, Captain. I mean, maybe I'll maybe I'll grab the lime some things on the way out, but I, I already have a fair bit of. Um, copper and titanium at the moment. Uh, I, I, I'll grab a couple of rubies. Hey, let's see. Uh, that scannable? Nope. Okay. That sandstone? Yep. yep. Lead. Hoping for some silver, but I'm sure they'll. Integrating new PDA data. I'm sure the lead will become useful eventually. Grab this and then head back up. Yeah, I don't have the rebreather, so I, I shouldn't count on. Uh, my earlier calculations, whew, I, er, I calculating for, oh, um, 10 oxygen points per 100 meters. Uh, uh, um, yeah, um, there's another thing I wanted to look at. Um, yeah, maybe we get upgrades for the CMOS, because I have, I have the moon pool and the vehicle upgrade console. That's cool. So hey, that, that uses a fair bit of copper. There's two copper for the copper wire. There's and then there's more copper wire in the computer chip. So yeah, I should. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab. I'll, although, okay, stay focused. Let's just finish what I came here for. And did it disable the beacon? Ah, oh, that's obnoxious. Like, don't, don't do that. Boink. It's like, yeah, I wish I would stop disabling the beacons when I'm not ready to do that yet. And there's another PDA. So that tells me where the land is, right? And the, the Degassi site. Uh, if possible, oh hey, look, there's an egg. Possible. Uh, I'd like to grab a couple samples of. Uh, okay, I'm grabbing that and getting the heck out. Gold. Eh. It's hoping for silver. <laughs> Which is a little ironic, I suppose. <laughs> some water for the, for the inventory space and uh, like if I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a couple of rubies I should grab a couple of um, a couple of purple gels if I can find them silver there you go now I can make the rebreather 
and have it generally more, uh, what's that? Why is it glowing? Rock grub? Hey! What's that? Can I grab it? I can't grab it. Okay. Never noticed that before. Hey, maybe, for all I know, maybe every single time that I've ever seen the scannable thing flash on the screen, is like, what was that? Maybe it was a rock grub. <laughs> Indigenous life forms where it'll be, uh, yeah, it'll be fauna. Scatters the parasites. Yeah. What a cute little fella. <laughs> Assessment harmless. Okay. So, looking for... I mean, I got the silver that I wanted, but I'm still going to look for any more sandstone outcroppings. Uh, any... Uh, I guess I'll grab... Uh, grab the Reginald. Oh, wait. There's some purple gel. Whoops, I forgot to scan it. No. No, the science. I would like to get a second of them, just so they have a... So that both rubies have a companion. <laughs> thing keeps uh, auto correcting itself like reorienting so I'm not sure which way was the way I was uh, heading towards did I, did I explore this wreck actually not sure I think I think I did yeah I just I just didn't have the, the laser cutter okay My Sea Glide is 53% power. I did bring a spare battery along just in case. Oh, I wonder. Yeah, I just want to move over over some place here. If if I drop the gel sack, can I scan it then? There you go. I didn't miss out of the science. All as well. You may have got the benefit of scanning it in a relatively. Of scanning it in a relatively uh, safe environment, not. Uh, there you go. Um, rather than um, while well, I was in the middle of um, a deep dive. Oh, I shouldn't do that when my inventory is full. Uh, 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 drop lithium. I mean, not lithium, the titanium. Uh, don't overthink it, just move. <laughs> Inventory full. Found uh, found Keen's um, the broadcast location and uh, the I believe the, that should, there should be a beacon for the um, uh, uh, for the landmass now. And I can explore that if I feel like it. Ah, uh, well, I say if I feel like it, uh, I should explore because there are some uh, some more blueprints there too. So, uh, so yeah. 
just noticing how late it is, um, I should really wrap up this uh, this recording. Um, yeah, at the start of the next session, then I'll I'll build the the habitat builder and moon pool, and um, yeah, get the habitat started. That'll be nice. Be able to recharge the sea moth. I have a proper place for storing my things, <laughs> which I will then reorganize again once I get a uh, multi purpose room or scanning room. <laughs> oh, that's neat. I have the ability to build aerogel, even though I, there's nothing I can do with it yet. Okay, on that note, uh, I think this is a good time to end this. Um, yeah, pretty good for, for first session. I've got, got a Seamoth already. Um, yeah, almost uh, ready to build the first habitat as well. Um, oh, hopefully I'll be able to... Uh, accelerate a little faster beyond this now. Uh, now I have the means of getting a breather. I should be able to have more, much more effective diving sessions. So, um, yeah, should be able to uh, proceed faster after this. Until next time.